Well, 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 hello, West Ham fans. Who is the Russie B number one transfer target this summer? Yes, everybody, Russell and West Ham Network. Hope you're all safe and well. I'm, I, I'm, I'm talking to you from Dubai, but I'm not. I've flown all the way back over to do this video. Then I'm going to fly. It's a bit of a, a bit of a trek, a bit of a journey, a bit of a commute. I'll be honest. You know, six hours and seven, hours, thirteen hour round trip for you guys. Deserves a like. Deserves a comment, deserves a subscribe, deserves trying to hit 25,000 subscribers. Now, we we know we're in the midst of this crazy transfer window we're going to be having, and it is going to be crazy. By all accounts, Lobotegi wants to get in early, wants to get his stuff done, get his business done, and move it and lose it. Let's get let's get things sorted. So by the time everyone's back from pre for pre-season, the squad is in a decent shape because it needs to be. And we've been linked to lots of players already. I think we're about... 40 odd already um and we're barely not even barely entered into the actual uh transfer window itself but someone asked me a question on uh, one of the comments to a video i did a couple about a week or so ago and i thought i'll respond the question was who is your top target i've been thinking about it now we finished ninth, um, and we've conceded the most amount of goals um, we've ever conceded in the Premier League season. The most amount of goals conceded in the David Moyes season in his entire um, managerial uh, history as well. So for me, the key is the defence. That is what we need sorting. If we can concede 20 less goals, I'm just picking a number, 20, 20, about 50, 50 ish is what we tend to do. If we're scoring more than, you know, I think one of our highest scoring seasons, it's about second or third, I think, you know, all the time. And we concede less goals without too much tinkering, we're already in a better spot. So for me, my number one target is a defender. For me, my number one target is Max Kilman. He's who I want to spearhead this new West Ham, this new setup, this new defence. We know in terms of the way that um, J-Lo likes to set up his sides, you know, defence is something he needs to sort. He did a similar thing when he was at Wolves. In terms of his defence, you know they were leaking goals. He tightened that up, and indeed, if you go back and look at the David Moyes era, that's how he started. We, you know, we were leaking defence. We were, were bottom of the kind of the bottom of the league around there in the relegation zones. He came in. The first thing he did was tighten defence up, and many games we won one nil, two nil, and very rarely did we concede first. That wasn't the case with this season, the season that's just gone. So for me, Max Kilman is not the answer to the problems, but he is certainly getting there. I mean, he's got some very, you know, very impressive stats, really. Um, you know, firstly, he's six foot four. He's a unit. He's 26. Chelsea born um, player. We were born in Chelsea. Um, he's been at Wolves since the last six years, something like six or seven years. Um, and what I really like about him is he's homegrown. Is he homegrown? I think he may well be. Let me just have a look. I'm going to have a look. He has to have played for three years before the age he was 21. With a recognised UK, 1997 plus 21 is 2018. I mean, 
he's he played he played for Welling United. He was Welling United for a couple of years. He was at Maidenhead for a couple of years. He was Youth Academy at Fulham and Gillingham before then going and signing from Maidenhead to Wolves for an undisclosed fee on deadline day in August 2018. So they plucked him from relative obscurity, really. Um, and uh, he spent that season with the under-23s and then helping them win promotion to the, what was the sort of the, the PL2 competition. Um, and then in April of that year, the current Wolves manager at the time, the coach, you know, Spirito Santos, he basically said that he was 100% going to be integrated to the, to the first team. You know, he saw a lot of good qualities in him. Um, a centre-half who's big, aggressive. And also something which I think is really interesting is he actually has represented um, England already. He represented England in football. You all know the te- indoor football, you know, very technical, very, um, you know, possession based. And uh, he's played, he's made, he made a number of appearances, 25 appearances for the England football team. So he's a big centre half, he's a unit of a man and he can play. And so he, you know, and obviously J-Lo would have worked, uh, worked with him during his time at Wolves and uh, run the run, run, run the rule over him. You know what I mean? Um, he's actually eligible eligible to also play international football for Russia and Ukraine. And in fact, back in March 21, Andrei Shevchenko, the Ukrainian coach, announced he'd formally asked FIFA to switch Kilman's national leagues to Ukrainian, but also inquired of them as to whether his appearances for the football team would have made him eligible for the Ukraine. But unfortunately, they rejected the application because they saw um, his appearances in the football matches as him playing for England in any form. So although he was eligible to play for Russia and Ukraine, because of his football, he's actually only eligible to be playing in the UK, in England, in terms of that setup. But I genuinely think he's he could be the answer to our problems or, or, the, or the beginning to the, you know, he's 26. So great age. You've got a good few years ahead of him uh, in terms of uh, the way he plays left footed as well. An area we've going to be probably quite short on if we're led to be believed with a Bonner leaving, with potentially a Gerd leaving. Um, naturally left footed player. Um, definitely will be able to provide something. He's quick. He's great at set pieces. He's a big lad. Um, and uh, he's got the experience of the Premier League. Uh, this year, five goals. No, what's he got? Uh, no, two goals. Two goals this, this season. Um, made over 40 odd appearances. And I just think he's he's the first piece of the puzzle. There's several pieces of the puzzle, but I think the first piece needs to be the defence. We need to sort his defence out, get it sorted once and for all. And then I think, Naturally, you're going to see more goals because the likes of Bowen, the likes of Caduce, they don't have to come back all the time to defend. If they've got a strong defence, a defence which isn't which isn't leaking, then that gives them confidence going forward. That's who my number one is. Who is your number one? I'll be fascinated to know because there's going to be Definitely a uh, difference in opinion. People will probably, some will want to go with, you know, the striker. I think we've got, I, I think the striker will be important. But for me, the first chink, the first piece of that puzzle is the defence, is a centre off. And that can lead off. So from the, from your pillar, who's in it? Do we get the second centre off in? Can that centre off, can Mavropanos, for example, work with Kilman? Can Kilman work with the left back? If that's Emerson, what about Kilman's relationship with the CDM? You know, then it sort of can all piece together. But do you want who do you want? Do you want the centre back first? Do you want the striker first? Do you want the left wing first? Do you want the right back first? Who do you want first? What position and what player in that position? And let's get a bit of conversation going because I think it'd be really interesting. Anyway, keep an eye on the channel. Anton and Holly doing a great job while I'm sunning myself and on uh, although not sunning myself sweating and burning myself and, and, and literally having, sorry, let me see the microphone. I'll have a hat on. 
I'll be in the swimming pool. This much will be available. No, that's, that's, that's right. Should be doing that. But literally, my sunglasses. That's literally the only bit that will be a bit available. Anyway, take care. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay humble. Keep the faith. Come on, you irons. <laughs>